Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The fellas are on the road, but there's one thing we're not going to do, and that is miss an opportunity to talk about Mike Norvell, Florida State, and getting it done on the recruiting trail as they land another commitment. This one from the 2025 high school recruiting classes, Javion Hilson, top 50 national player, one of the best edge rushers in the 2025 cycle, flips his commitment from Alabama to Florida State. A couple things I want to note. One, Mike Norvell, I'm having his way with this Alabama program the last couple of weeks, obviously taking a lot of very good players from Alabama in the transfer portal and also winning on the recruiting trail as well in a tough a, a, a tough day for, for the, the crowd that is on Mike Norvell in this Florida State program for not being able to get it done on the high school recruiting trail. As you take a look at what they're building in this 2025 class, and they're starting to put together a nice class as well. And this is a class I'm really excited about. You saw Florida State really get some traction in the 2024 class and maybe didn't close out on some of those top prospects that they wanted to. I think in 2025, with the success Florida State had in the 2023 season, I think this is a class that really could be special for Florida State. I want to talk about Jay Van Helsen, talk about what Florida State is doing on the recruiting trail in this 2025 cycle. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys and a shout out to the Florida State fans. This has been a program that we're seemingly doing daily updates on Florida State and the additions they're making to this roster I've been having a blast doing it. Many of you guys know I love talking portal, love talking recruiting and roster construction. The amount of support the Florida State fans have shown really does mean a lot. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, thank you guys for all the support you guys have shown the boys over the last couple of weeks. And without further ado, let's get into Javian Hilson. And the first thing that I want to talk about is two things. One, in that, when you're talking edge rushers, Coming out of high school, you want to take a look at the physical traits that they bring to the table. And Javion Hilson, there is a reason he was a top 50 national prospect in this 2025 class. The length, the, the burst, and the power in his hands are, are pretty evident on the film. We're going to take a dive into the film in just a little bit. Physical traits, massive checkpoint. But another box that you really see checked for Javion Hilson is, I mean, the production on the field. And I feel like oftentimes when we're talking about high school prospects, there's a lot of discussion on physically what are they made of, and that's an important conversation to have. But another important conversation is what does it look like when they put on the helmets and put on the shoulder pads? Are they producing on the Friday nights at the high school level? And Chavion Hilson, I mean, certainly has done that as a sophomore in high school, nine tackles for a loss, nine and a half sacks. But as a junior, you talk about trending in the right direction. 94 total tackles, 27 tackles from a loss, 14 sacks. You see him line up as a three tech. You see him line up as a five tech, but wherever he is, I mean, he's using, you're seeing a football player that can be a true game wrecker at the college football level. Want to get into the film, talk a little bit about what makes JV on Hilson, a guy that I think Florida state fans should be really excited about. And the first thing I think I want to talk about is the power that he has in his hands, right? At contact, he is, very powerful, can go right through tackles and kind of the, the Mike Norvell uh, type of edge rusher, right? Power in the hands, collapse in pockets, being good in the run game, being able to stand up, stack and shed blocks. That's what Mike Norvell has coveted at that edge rusher position. I think Javion Hilson, a guy that's only 230 pounds now, but has the frame to get up to 250, 260 pounds, kind of fits what Mike Norvell wants in that edge rusher. And then here you see, I didn't note this, 100 meter dash time for a guy like Javion Hilson, who's 230 pounds. And 11 to 9. I mean, you're talking about an extremely explosive athlete. And you see this right here. I mean, the get off off the ball, very good. Wins inside. And then the closing speed, being able to go make a play on the quarterback. All things that you're really excited about with JV on Helson. Another example of I mean, just using his hands and being extremely powerful, walking that tackle right into the quarterback slap, really collapsing the pocket. And then the motor that he plays with is really exciting as well. And this is a conversation. You're going to see the motor here. One, power in the hands. We're going to absolutely kind of just walk the tackle right into the backfield. But then we're going to continue to get after the quarterback. And that's something that, I mean, I don't think it's talked enough about when you're evaluating some of these edge rushers coming out of high school is you can be a very good college football player and NFL player if you have that motor and you continue to play hard. And a guy like J.B. on Hilson, and it's all over his film, right? Wins immediately, but doesn't necessarily get to the quarterback, goes through a running back's chip, 
we're going to continue to chase this quarterback down. And I guarantee you, this is something that Mike Norvell absolutely covets coming from this pass rusher. And you see the ability to play in space. And that, another thing that I think really excites me is what he can do when he's asked to play in space. And you take a look at Florida State and that 4-2-5 defense. I mean, doing a lot of different things, whether it's dropping back in the flat and coverage, whether it's tackling running backs in space. I mean, J.V. Helson has that athleticism to certainly operate in space as well. So a versatile defender that has really all the physical traits that you want and the production matches what the physical traits are saying on the football field. That's probably what excites me most about JV on Hillison. And you take a look at what Mike Norvell is doing in this 2025 class. And I think there's a lot of reason to be excited, right? You already have one of the top offensive tackles, the number one offensive tackle in the 2025 class locked up in Solomon Thomas. You add a guy like JV on Hillison. I mean, we've barely gotten started in this 2025 class. Florida state already has, two guys in the top 50 nationally committed to this program. And this is, again, a, the, a class that I'm really excited about. There is a ton of buzz around this program. Mike Norvell is attracting a lot of talent to come in on visits, look at this Florida State program, and a ton of heat goes to Mike Norvell and, and being too reliant on the transfer portal. I think Mike Norvell won in the 2024 class was a very strong class that you just missed on two, one or two top prospects to kind of end out that cycle, it was still a top 10 class. And then you look at 2025 and what they're building. This is looking like it's going to be a top 10, top eight, maybe even top five class. I think the heat around Mike Norvell being too reliant in the transfer portal is probably misplaced. And I think this 2025 class after the success they had last season is going to be a class that is really exciting for Florida state. Now, one other guy I want to talk about, and this is going back to the 2024 class and, Kind of a guy that I've been continuing to monitor throughout his high school career, but more importantly, how his recruiting process has played out. A guy in Trevor Jackson who was committed to Ole Miss. He ends up decommitting from Ole Miss and, and probably the best quarterback still available in that 2024 class. Obviously, most of those guys committed and many of them enrolled in their school. Trevor Jackson is a really interesting, interesting prospect. He's a guy that hasn't played a ton of football at the high school level but is a guy that has a ton of arm talent. He was invited to the Elite 11, really popped in terms of the throws that he can make. I think you're getting a guy that I would probably describe as kind of a project slash lottery ticket, where Luke Cromo notes your quarterback in 2024. Let's make no mistake about that. But you can never have too much talent in a quarterback room. And a guy like Trevor Jackson comes into this program. We know what Mike Norvell has done in terms of developing quarterbacks is a guy that has athleticism to extend plays and an extremely talented arm. And the more reps he gets and the more opportunities he gets, I think could be a guy that blossoms into a very talented quarterback down the road. Again, raw, a project right now, but you talk about upside, you talk about the ceiling Trevor Jackson has, I think is really, really exciting. And if he winds up heading to Florida State, I think a quarterback that you might not hear of the first two years he's in Tallahassee, but year three, year four, year five, that's probably where you're going to start hearing some buzz around Trevor Jackson. He named a monitor. We'll continue to talk about him if he ends up coming to Florida State. We'll wrap it up there. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys again. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to you all 